Hello and welcome to the viewers of this video. This is the Orange Fan here, bringing you another entry for the episode recap and thoughts category. Just as the title of the video indicates, this one will be dedicated to the second short of The Loud House, Slice of Life, which was also adapted from a comic. The short begins with Lincoln reading some manga before dinner, then the mother calls out that it is dinner time and they got pizza. Lincoln mentions that there's 12 slices in total in the box, but since there's 11 siblings, that leaves one left, so getting seconds can be quite the challenge. He then introduces the audience to the ABCs of getting the last slice. First there's arguing, and then we hear the siblings give their argument about why they should be the one who gets the slice, or some try to compromise and figure out how they can all get it. Next up is they battle for it, and we don't see the battle in the typical art style of the series. Oh no, we see it anime-esque. <laughs> And then it ends with the parents mentioning there's no need to fight over it because they got another box because of coupons. So Lincoln admits that they do tend to forget about the coupons and then they abandon that last slice and go on to have the other box. It's then when we see the four main pets of the Loud family. Or rather, I should say the pets that are considered the family overall the overall family pets because lana has quite a few pets of her own but they're more specifically under her care rather than the whole families but in any case the four overall family pets are charles the dog cliff the cat walt the bird and geo the hamster the short ends with all four of them having an anime-esque battle over that last slice <laughs> So overall, I found this to be a very fun short. It reminded me quite a bit of my relatives, how we are big fans of pizza. We don't usually have to fight over pieces, though, because we kind of do figure... We have an understanding of how many slices each of us can handle. Like, some of my relatives can only handle two slices, others can handle three, some as many as four, even. So we're able to distribute it to the point where we all get our respective fills of it just fine. But it's still fun nonetheless. <laughs> it was fun to see how they all battled over it. And I liked how it shifted to an anime-esque look when they did the battle. <laughs> and it was nice to get to see the four pets in action. They're actually all named after different comic book artists to kind of keep up with how Loud House is kind of based off of the Sunday funnies, as they used to be called. Now, Grant Palmer voices Lincoln here like he does in the first 22 episodes of the series, but he sounds closer to how he sounded towards the end of his run rather than the beginning, even though this short premiered roughly around the same time when the series itself premiered. But it makes sense because it doesn't take very long to put a short together compared to putting a segment together. So it's probably easy to figure that the short was probably recorded and drawn up all closer towards when it was released compared to the segments which take more time to do so which would probably explain why Grant Palmer sounded deeper than he did earlier on in the show's run. This was also the short where we actually got to hear Lisa talk, since she didn't talk in Bathroom Break. And we do get to hear the parents' voices. We even get to see Mr. Loud's arms when he's holding up the second box of pizza towards the end. <clears throat> So that leaves, as of the recording of this video, there's one more short that has been released to the public from the franchise, and I will be covering that before I tackle the segments and the episodes of the series itself. So you have that to look forward to. Take care, and until next time.